Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video and this is a big one. This is how to install uh, FIFA Mod Manager for FIFA 21 so you can import, apply, launch mods, do all that good stuff. Um, so it's just going to be a quick tutorial on how you can install it, what it is, etc, etc. So if you don't know, uh, the FIFA Editing Tool Suite was released a little while ago when this video was made. Um, that allows us to mod FIFA 20, comes in two parts, the editor, which allows you to create mods, and then the mod manager, which allows you to import, apply, and launch multiple mods at the same time. Uh, just like Frosty, but uh, it has support for FIFA 21 with many, many new features, and it's, uh, being, it's kept being developed, and uh, yeah, super, super advanced stuff. So there may be a redesign of the program in a few weeks, um, so just check the description to make sure that, uh, and the title, it will say outdated, a uh, new link in the description for an update tutorial, because uh, it will get a lot more features the Mod Manager in, in a few weeks, and you know, the installation might be a bit different. But for now, this is it. So to download it, first step is to go fifaeditortool.com slash download, link is in the description, it should bring you to this page. If you have your ad blocker on, make sure to disable it. Uh, because uh, how the tool uh, keeps being developed is because a lot of the uh, the revenue from ads. So you'll see here we have the editor and mod manager download as well as the change log. So if you want to see what's changed, just read through that. We can go past versions to see uh, you know if you want to download an older version, you can download that. But uh, there's you know very few cases why you'd want to do that. So then here, see the mod manager. Click the download button. It'll open a new tab. This mega link. Just wait for it. Then click download. Uh, it's about 56 megabytes so not that big it should not take very long if you need a, uh, a file service uh, platform i recommend you use mega for your business or for yourself uh, it's really good once you download you can just click create account register all that uh, you get like the 10 15 gigabytes for free or something which is great so just wait for that to download. Uh, if you're wondering about the editor how to install the editor i will make a separate tutorial for that which i will link in the description but just wait for it to download there we go, that was quick. Now you wanna open the RAR it download. We wanna open it with WinRAR. Uh, you can use other programs like 7-Zip. If WinRAR's not working, maybe try 7-Zip, but uh, a lot of us, you know, other programs can cause other issues. So I would highly recommend you do use WinRAR. So then it will open up like this. You just wanna click on this folder, go, go extract, uh, extract two, and then extract it somewhere on your PC. I would recommend you extract it on the same drive as FIFA, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and I would ex make sure you uh, just put in your documents or desktop folder. Uh, don't put in program files or anything. So I'm just going to put in documents. Click OK. There. Boom. It's extracted. You can also drag and drop it into File Explorer or something, but extracting it is just a bit easier. Then we just want to find the, uh, the folder that it created. Obviously, uh, you may be using a different version. It doesn't really matter if it says newer version here. That just means you know, more, uh, more, more features and stuff. So you want to download the newest version, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's totally fine if the version number is different. Then open the folder and you're going to see this exe. No other files, just the exe. Again, when the, uh, the new layout comes in a few weeks, this may be different. So make sure, check the description, check the title, see if there's a new tutorial. Then you just want to run this. So you can double click or go right click open. You can also run it as, as an administrator. If you're having any issues, I recommend you do that. But for the majority of the time, you do not need to run as an administrator. But if you're running into issues, run as administrator, click yes when it prompts you. So just open that up, give it a second and uh, it should just load up, boom, automatically. It should automatically detect your FIFA 21 EXE, but if it doesn't, it will just give you a little warning, say it was not detected, and you have to detect it manually, and then open up a little file opening thing where you can go and select it, and uh, your FIFA 20 EXE is normally located on uh, your drive, program files, times 86, origin games, not origin, but origin games, FIFA 20, and then FIFA 20.exe, not the trial one. So now, once uh, this is opened, we can make a full screen, and then boom, here we go. We can now import mods. Click the import mods button. Um, here's a, a boot mod that I have, uh, obviously uh, not mine, but a great little boot mod here. You can find many mods on many places. I will make a, a tutorial on where's the best places to find them, what kind of mods, etc., etc., etc. But for now, you can do this. We can import it. We can see the description. Uh, you may get an error saying this mod is out of date. The legacy files may or may not work. Um, make sure you contact the, the mod author if that's the case, but for a boot mod, uh, it will, it's fine because boot mods don't edit very many legacy files, although a few things may not work, but uh, if you get that error, only applies to legacy files, so not the actual boots, but maybe the database and stuff will not work. 
But yeah, if that happens, uh, contact the mod maker on Discord or on Twitter or whatever the easiest way to contact them. Then click apply mods or double click on this mod. Um, as we can see, if we can delete it and then we can click on it, go apply, either one works. Um, now, if you have other mods, they'll, they'll appear, they'll, they'll appear here, that's fine. You can toggle where they are on the applied list with these little arrows. And uh, the priority is, highest priority is at the bottom. So if, uh, if we have another mod here, which I can just quickly import, see we get this little air, this is what it would look like. But then we can apply that and we can see the priority. So kits here has the highest priority, boot pack has the other priority and we can use the little arrows to toggle uh, this. Uh, we can also see the conflicts tab to see if they uh, conflict on any files, which they do, but this is fine. Uh, conflicts don't aren't necessarily bad. And uh, if you see the chunk collector being, uh, being a conflict, don't worry about that. That's nothing. Then we can uh, see our profile here. Uh, currently, you just have it on the default profile, and for the majority of people, that's what you need. But you can create another profile. Um, this will just kind of remove uh, these mods from the applied list. So you won't have any different mods here. Mods will be the same across profiles on the left side of the screen, but on the right side of the screen, on the applied list, that's where the differences are. Then you also have the DirectX toggle if you want to play on DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. Uh, you want to play on DirectX 11 99% of the time because DirectX 12 causes some crashes, causes some issues with mods. So it's highly recommended you use DirectX 11. Then we just want to click the launch button right here. And I'll just bring up this screen. Just wait. If it uh, prompts you to uh, give administrator privileges, just click yes. And then just wait a little bit. This works on the Steam and Origin version, uh, if you're wondering. Um, yeah, just give it a few minutes. You may run into uh, a few errors, which I'll make a video in the future for. If you do, make sure you join the FIFA Editor Tool Discord. On this website, if you can scroll down, you just join one click, click connect on fifaeditortool.com um, and join the Discord, it's 100% free. I've also linked the actual link in the description where you can just join and that works fine too. I should also talk uh, a minute about a few more things. We have the website itself. It has uh, a few more, uh, it has some news, how to contact us, whatever. So check that out. The official Twitter account for updates on versions, updates on progress, stuff like that. At FIFA Editor Tool, link in the description. Make sure you follow that. And then the Patreon, patreon.com slash FIFA Editor Tool, tool link in the description. If you have some spare cash and you want to support the development of, uh, of the tool and mods in general, then make sure you join the Patreon here just for a dollar a month. There are multiple tiers. If you become an alpha tester, you can try out some new, new, new features, stuff like that. But as we can see, FIFA is launching up. That's great. The tool has worked. Obviously, there can be some issues. So again, make sure you join the Discord if you do run into any. Um, but yeah, uh, if you do, a few common steps are to repair FIFA, restart your PC, reinstall the tool, change the drives everything's on. Those are just some common troubleshooting errors. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. That is how you install the FIFA Mod Manager uh, for FIFA 21. If you have any questions, join the Discord or leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time, think I need to rewind, feeling out of life. I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you.